Hi. Hi. I'm Max, knitwear designer and co-founder of Les Garçons. And I'm Vincent, yarn dyer, also co-founder of Les Garçons. And welcome to a brand new episode of Happy Hour with Les Garçons. That's us. So it's been three weeks since we've seen each other. A lot has happened. Uh, so it might be a lengthy one this time because we did a lot of thing in three weeks. Did we? Yes. I, well, well, it first, feels like it. Let's let's say cheers. Cheers to a brand new cocktail. Yes. Cheers. We're drinking a cocktail that's called the Lola in honor of our sleeping dog. Of snoring and sleeping. Um, we actually saw that drink on the menu where we stayed in New York City, where we were last weekend, and um, decided to give it a try. So it's... I, 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 I didn't know... <laughs> I didn't know the recipe because yeah, it, was it, just it only listed the, the ingredients. Yeah. So I put two ounces of Aperol and then one ounce of elderflower liqueur Saint Germain Saint Germain Saint Germain La Riviere <laughs> and one ounce of grapefruit juice or as it was written on the menu yeah. Pamplemousse Pamplemousse <laughs> French is so exotic yeah. <laughs> yeah, so fancy French. And then topped it off with sparkling wine. It's really tasty. Yes. It uh, has a little bit of a juice flavor. It's more like... It's okay. sweet. Yeah, sweet, but in... Yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. So, cheers to this episode. Cheers. So, yes, we were in New York, but we're going to try to go back a couple of weeks, a couple of days before, just so we go any, um, you know, the t proper timeline. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, we've started to, well, I well, started okay. to collect records. Yes, because I wanted a record player. I wanted to play some, like a few nice records, <laughs> but Max went crazy. Yeah, but there's something about collecting that is so addictive. Like we all know about collecting yarn, and then it just opened up to collecting vinyl of all my favorite artists. And let's it, talk about them. Yeah, I've went overboard where I've just wanted to collect albums that changed my life or that I've listened to a lot. And then I just went crazy and bought a little bit too much stuff. Mm -hmm. But now I've scaled it back and just really searched for the real rec records that I want. Because a lot of them are out of prints or stuff like that. So why we're talking about records is there's something <laughs> called Record Store Day. Same yeah. thing as Local Yarn Store Day, which I was really surprised about. And it's only, was it a week before or two weeks? No, I think it was a weekend before. Yeah. The weekend before, so there was an event at our record store yeah. in Montreal that we used to go to. It's like a five minutes walk from here, so I may have dropped by a couple of times just, just for fun, because <laughs> it's there. Yeah, but who didn't go on actual record store day? I know, I had something else, but you had our list. Yes. Um, there, um, I'll just say there's some, uh, some record store day exclusive, so this is why Vincent went and yeah. waited in line for all of them. And talk about the line. Yeah. It went like the rec like it went across a corner, like a block. It was like about two blocks long. It was we like we've never saw that because we weren't interested in records. And the people in it were like a mix of different listeners, I guess. Music yeah. listeners. Like there were People, I assumed, were there for the rock and the 
like the classic i think um yeah i don't know like all different type of people and then there was me waiting in line to get <laughs> mostly for two things because i've seen one but the the first one that like all the gays i've lined up for yeah. and <laughs> it was taylor swift uh Folklore, Folklore, the long fun studio session. So this was a record day exclusive. Um, this is the live session she did for that is available on Disney Plus. So we now have it on vinyl. All, the whole thing is really pretty. It's all in black and white and the vinyls are a pale gray. And we sort of fell in love with her just with the latest album Midnight. Before yeah. I was just listening to some of the song and not really caring about her Sorry. but this one like it was an exclusive but there were a lot of it yeah. and they, at the record store i think they planned ahead and she was in every section so there was taylor swift in pop obviously but there was taylor swift in uh alternative heavy in, metal in, uh, soundtrack <laughs> i i video games i did see heavy metal i saw jazz i saw her in soul um yeah she was everywhere and then the other one that that's the one i really wanted to get for me is um halcyon oh what would you say halcyon halcyon nights by Haley golding i've been a huge fan of her since her first album we've ex the first show we actually saw together was this of that album um, yes. yeah of that album because we were dating and it, it was only we were dating for two weeks And yep. you came just because you were deeply in love with me. And you. this is where we, are, we realized that you hate music shows. Mm. I was the only That's one. That's where you it. realized I hated yeah, music but shows. You I came, already knew. I know. but <laughs> uh, So I've been listening to her for a long time. And I got lights and Ristity Bright Lights. So Hail Shin was like. Yes. Great so musician. yes, I hate um, music shows as yeah. well as musicals. And I don't like um, them. But yeah. Um, no, but yeah, no. And I was, I was looking for a bunch of different things that I like, um, which is there was an RLED piece, all uh, exclusive. There was a garbage exclusive, and there was a Cranberries exclusive, which was the re release or the record release of Wake Up. And smell the coffee. This album. It actually wasn't here in Montreal, but I found it in a shop in Vancouver, and I got it. So, and maybe I can show it. But the record is transparent. I just and, love when they're just not plain yeah, black. Just, but no, nah, you know. No, it's fun. I like to. No, I prefer when they're like. So that was our little, yeah, record store day. Record store day. Show yourself so nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. it's nice. It's so pretty. Yeah. So there we go. Um, so you can know that um, if you have other hobbies, like collecting records, there's also a day in the year. Where you can buy yeah. stuff for like exclusive, like local yarn star day. Let us know if you know if there's other kind of days. Like, is there a local yarn, a local beer? Probably. Mm. Day, local yeah. beer shop. Beer day. day is every day. I know, but having special, I don't know. It just felt like it was something fun to be part of. And then afterwards, we were heading to New York because of local yarn store day yes. so all the days all the days uh we were invited by pick up every stitch felicia and karen um again thank you like we've thanked them a million times yeah. uh but here's one more uh, thank you for inviting us we um were there they had a trunk show of les garçons and died they have Uh, an exclusive colorway that launched for the weekend and launched and then was out of stock in a minute because um, people loved it 
They are exactly like us for something exclusive available for only one day. You yes. just grab it and wish it's good. You get into the <laughs> store, you grab it, and then you yeah, walk around and then pay for it and leave. And then you're like, hmm, exclusive. Uh, <laughs> so we flew into Montreal and stayed... Flew into New York. It, we yeah, <laughs> we flew to Mon when We flew to New York two days earlier to the... Trunk show just so we could actually enjoy the city and have a little time off before. It was, we picked out a hotel in Soho. It was the first time staying there. It was really nice. The hotel yes. was nice. Everything around where it just felt more relaxed than all the last time I went. And we've been able to enjoy yourself even more than before. Like, we, yep. for someone who's not a big fan of New York, you've. I'm, it was, I'm it was more fun there. More fun. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely more fun staying in that area. Um, yes. We ate a lot of good food. Yes. And you were in such a good mood. Mood. Then one night, I had a little open window of you saying, I wouldn't mind going to see Wicked. So in two it's minutes, not, I booked no, wait, tickets. Hold on. I said... Yeah, you, I, this we is thought, how I heard it. We, we talked about music. We talked. He mentioned Wicked, and I said, "Oh, apparently the cast is good." Because I saw another video of, like, completely random video of people I watch on YouTube, and then they mentioned we went to see Wicked. It was good. The cast is good. So I'm like, I said, he mentioned Wicked. So I said, "Oh well, it would I." guess the cast would be good and then two minutes later tickets were bought tickets were bought yeah i just want to make sure that it was going to be done <laughs> like we're <laughs> done um it was really good um well it was good it was okay the main two <laughs> actors were really good the others some of it were overacting and it was it felt really weird compared to the other ones and yeah. it was nice to see it it's a really big production which was really fun but I love that at the end, you were like, I'm ready to see like a modern uh, musical, like Six or something, instead of like an oldie. Oh, and... yes. Well, no, that's like not exactly what I said. That's what but... I heard, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to go see Six, the musical, oh, in Lord, London no, I... next time. I said... No, the, the soundtrack is seriously... It, I it's said really good. I want to see a first cast version of a musical. And I translated all of that yes. into we're going to go, go see six <laughs> in London. That's how it works. <laughs> the soundtrack is really good. So, <laughs> What? I think opportunities were there. there. Yes. Um, and we ate like really good food. It, we were really, really busy. Yeah, we picked and... like a random restaurant in Soho. And then we went to see... Oh, oh. Just before, we're at the restaurant where we were eating... We were eating the street, which felt really nice at night. Yeah. And across the street, you saw a I name saw that something. felt familiar. Yeah. Yes. It was. Uh, it was Dominic Ansel's Bakery. It was like right across the street, and I didn't know it was there. I probably wouldn't have thought of, of going there. Of yeah. Going there while we were in New York. Um, for those who don't know, he's the one guy, the pastry chef. Who invented the cronuts? So half croissant, half donuts. Um, it's really good. Yeah. So the next day after it was like we a, went and yeah. did a lineup to get ours. It was a, like a big craze when it came out, and it's still very popular because there was a, like a line when we got there the next day. Um, again, didn't like just saw the name. Like it's a really small shop, and I just mm -hmm. recognized the name and it was. Yeah, very lucky, and it was very good. It's so weird to eat something that was so popular <laughs> before, and you're just like, oh, it's there, Let, let's try it. Yeah. So it was really nice. We went to Brooklyn. Yeah, because for two things. Because. We wanted to see our friend Catherine from the Brooklyn General Store. We wanted yes. to have like dinner with her. And I saw on Instagram that on the weekend, Geraldine from The Wandering Flock was opening her studio for people to walk in and actually go and see the dye studio and actually buy some yarn. So we actually took the time to go and see her because yes. we've never really seen so many dye studios. We've seen, we've seen MAs 
Emily. Yeah. And that's it. Did I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always fun to see how the others work and see where the magic happened. Yeah. So we went there. It was nice to see her. It was such a surprise for her because we're like, we're here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> and since we, I, I've been a big fan of hers for a long time because she has such a strong point of view of doing neon, but in a pastel way. And they're all quite nice. So I bought some yarn, but you did too. Yes. I bought these two, which are one of a kind. They're called Rosé. This is on her bulky base. So this is 100 gram of 100% superwash extra fine merino. There's 109 yards, so 100 meter per skein. And I just love how squishy it is. And I think I'm going to make like a hat or something out of it. I don't know. It's just I really wanted them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, maybe I should have bought two, right? Yeah. Well, well if I you bought... hold a double, you should. Uh, I don't know. Mm. We'll see. So I bought two things. Um, mine are not ex um, one of a kinds. This is Holograph Dreams. Don't really see it. Um, but there's no more where there's less light. Yeah. Um, over there, I think over there might be a little bit better. Yeah. Anyway, um, it has some purples and then some neon yellow over here, but then the rest is kind of peachy, like a pass. Yeah, there you go. And then the beautiful sunset in Brooklyn. Which is I'm gonna gonna move the so it's like a fade from kind of a cold lilac like a steely lilac to a peach color. So really really nice colors. And fluffy mohair. I think I'm gonna make a hat. I'm probably gonna make a hat for my sister because she has a small head. Um, so yeah, it will fit uh, a little bit better. So. And there was a big bucket of minis <laughs> and I got these five ones, um, might do a suck out of it. She said this is like heavy fingering light sport. So I'll play around with these colors. There were like three speckled one that I liked and two plain one. And this is the same color that you have, but as a mini. And they just felt quite not light. No. So I went with it. <laughs> and then the big day happened. We went to pick up every stitch where we spend the whole day. We arrive around 12 at noon. Yeah. We were the first to arrive before it opens. And then our friends, Kevin and Ray from Needles at the Ready, join us. And also Kate from the Knitting Posse, the only survivor from the Knitting Posse who could yes. make it that day um, so far. So <laughs> she's my favorite so far. She brought cookies. She was there. So it's my favorite member of the Posse. Because um, we were kidding. I don't think we mentioned it here. So yeah, <laughs> um, well, they are three, right? They're yeah, three. Yeah, they're three. Kim, Kate and Laura. And um, we were joking about picking me, meeting them for the first time and picking a favorite. And um, but there was only one present. So it's easy to pick the favorite. Right. And then uh, knitting with Kim and Jonna was there, too, who filmed the episode yep. in Pick Up Every Stitch. We've got to see a lot of people from YouTube, fans yep. of YouTube and fan of podcasts and everything. And we got to speak French like the whole day. Like a lot of expats in French are living there. Like five minutes, maybe. For me, it's whole day. But it was with five people. <laughs> it was someone from New Brunswick, someone from France, someone from, from yeah. Quebec. So it felt really fun. Yeah. It was a very, very nice day. It's um, It was an experience to see the shop, one shop on local Yarn Star Day. Cause mm -hmm. We haven't. This was our first strong show. Yeah. Also. Because so. we started in a pandemic and. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was very nice. 
And then the next day we were heading back here, but then it was like foggy everywhere. So all of our flights were canceled, delayed and all of that. So we had to stay an extra night by the airport so yeah. we could flew in the next we... day in the morning. <laughs> we got to the airport, flight was delayed. And then I was looking a little bit. I saw that flights from Montreal were not coming to New York. They were one even got rerouted and went like left Montreal, but went back to Montreal and never made it to New York. So we weren't hopeful. It was then canceled. We were booked on another flight, but then it was too late. So we got an earlier one, but this one got canceled as well because why? Like, yeah. it was still the next day, so no fog, but it got canceled early. And then Fort Flight got us we home. We made it, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we're here. Yeah. It's those thing where it's out of our control. You can just like sit and knit and wait for it to to be back yes. home and then we were we were so that was the last two weeks three yeah. weeks actually since the last time yeah. and tv wise <laughs> just we finished buffy and angel yes we finished buffy a while ago yeah buffy was good i'll give you that angel was hot garbage <laughs> I hated it so much. They did, uh, what's her name? Cordelia. Cordelia, so dirty. She was so funny, like one of my favorite characters, and her storyline just didn't make any sense. I hate the, ch the child, the kid in it. He's so useless, he just complained, and him and Cordelia, like, disgusting. It was just, hate it, hate it, hate it. And again, it was a good show to start with, but then when they started to play lawyers, it just didn't make any sense at all. Hate it. Hate. <laughs> Love Buffy. Yeah, and then the finale, well, we learned after, and I, I couldn't remember. Angel, oh, yeah. Probably because it was... Garbage. <laughs> yeah, the finale was complete... Nonsense. Completely useless and nonsense, because he didn't know that he was canceled i think or they didn't it, they didn't no, plan they didn't, ahead yeah and then they didn't have any budget to film something else or whatever like so they're heading to a big fight to the final fight and it just cut to black and that's it because they didn't have any budget to film the fight so and you have to like just no no i was so pissed but um they're supposed to have comic books that follows the yes, buffy buffy yes. but not angel i don't An know so maybe there's the fights but been drawn i don't know maybe big disappointment but still in a couple of years i'll have a good memory out of the yes. whole show and just one last show we're going to talk about and it's a discovery that you should all watch it's a brand new show on amazon free Freebie, and it's jury duty. It's the funniest thing as a show we've seen in a long time. Yeah, the premise is that a guy is selected for jury duty, and he's being told that there is a documentary on what it is to be on jury duty um, in America. So he's been told that's why there's cameras. Um, and then he thinks it's a real um, case. Case. Yeah. He thinks the jury is real, his peers, the judge, the lawyers, the defendant and the plaintiff. But everyone else except from he, for him are actors. Are actors. And the two lawyers and the judge are actually judge and lawyers in real life that are also actors so for them they're really good at it because because they've been used to defending case and stuff and they go so overboard with all the situation is in out of it just it's so funny and james yeah. marson isn't it so he plays the actor who has been selected to go to jury duty and he plays like a really big spoof on himself someone who's really like, like conceited conceited and, and everything yeah it's really good it's really really funny and it makes you feel you cringe a lot and turn out the guy he's such a good guy and yes. he 
his reaction are so good about everything. It's do find time to watch it at least twice per episode. It's thirty minutes per episode, and I think there's like yeah. eight. Yeah, it's it goes really quickly, but it's yeah. super funny. Yeah, so. so do watch it. It's our recommendation. Yes. <laughs> And before we leave you for that section and we move on to knitting, knitting, actual well, knitting. Well, well, we can, let's talk about what we're wearing. Yes. Because this is. I'm wearing the bold sweater because... designed by me because there's what? A bold. Yeah. And I'm wearing the unbearable hoodie. There's a hood under all that hair. And bears. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and bears. And flowers yes uh, designed by us we over the last three weeks we have sent out the uh, mysterious second month. second month second installment of the mysterious C club And we can now reveal it, I think. If you haven't seen it, look away. But um, Look away! If you don't want to see it, look away. But if you want to see it, here it is. So it's um, really fun. It's, well, it's Mysterious Octopus. Here. <laughs> And... Um, Yeah, so it's a really fun rust with dark brown speckles and um, yeah, a very like a semi a tonal colorway, I think I would say. And then with brown speckles paired with vanilla's eyes blue, it's really pretty. And one person at Pick Up Every Stitch told me, I think it was Laura. Hi, Laura. She told me that she I don't know if it's her but someone told me that they gasped yeah. when opening in opening that uh, month Colorway. so thank you to the person who saw it who said that and gasped um, it was a really fun colorway to make and as you can see if you remember the last one um, all of the colors the main color are the level creature The mysterious creature and all the minis are going to be shades of blue that feels like you're... they are in the sea i'm just spoiling a little bit the next yeah, one but you're spoiling... not going to see exactly what shade of it it is so this one that is the care. octopus so if you're a little nancy drew yes you're gonna know there is only one creature left in the picture so this is yeah. the one you're gonna get on the third and final month it's out of the it. jellyfish yes but so Um, it's actually almost ready to uh, be sent. We're going to send it like next week. Yeah, end of yep. next week. Yeah. Yep. And then um, that's going to be the end of this club. And I don't know, maybe there's going to be another one. Maybe I've sent everything to the printer today. Who knows? Maybe. 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 Um, so watch um, this space and other spaces and if you have an idea of what kind of mysterious club like as a team theme you would have yes. do let us know because <laughs> are we running out of ideas no but i just want to see what people would love <laughs> like me to draw because yes this okay so we the had... summer i had it we had this as a team for a while yes we have had mysterious forest forest manor, manor. Mountain, mountains, sea, sea, and then sh so we need a team for the next one. And that one, there's no plan so far. So if your idea yeah. is good, maybe we'll do it. <laughs> so do let <laughs> yes. us know because I need to find some inspiration for me to draw this summer. For that, yes. But um, so that was the second month. Third month is coming. We're going to uh, maybe not show it in the next episode, but in two episodes. Yeah. Uh, as not to spoil everyone, if you are waiting for your international order and you selected uh, three months all at once, it's going to come as well. It's very exciting. They're so fun to make. Yes. So fun. 
One other thing that I said I would only show now when they're completed are my little um, tuft UK crochet animals. And it's not totally completed because it's missing eyes and nose. But it's all sewn up. Oh, see? That's it does cool. look like a cat. But I think I put the ears a little bit too high, but still. No, they're cute. Yeah. So, little cat, all done, all sewn up. Has a very long <laughs> so tail. Can you block? crochet or, or do you like steam it or or do nothing because you don't really need to? um i could have blocked because you can all all the pieces are can be blocked before they're 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 stuffed i could actually probably does it change anything or no well it's it's wool so it probably would get a little bit better but Mm. it's a hundred it, it's a hundred percent walls yeah i could probably steam it but so that long tail was annoying to do because it's only six stitches for like 26 rounds so it was very long to make and to figure out like where the center was but i guess you could just make it as long as you want and you don't have to count mm. exactly how many rows how many rounds you did uh again little four of the same legs, arms and legs, the standard body, almost like a standard, well, not a standard face, but it has like, just pointy like, nose. just a little, nose. little pointy nose. And then, um, two ears. And then I, I'm not going to show, I'm just going to show the next one in the collection that I started working on just a little bit. I, actually memorized now the leg pattern because uh, you have to do four for <laughs> every each animal. Is it the same legs for all of them? Yeah. Okay, well, so not, maybe not a... all of all, all, all of them. Out. Like some of them might be different. Like this one has yeah. like, um, but it's a standard form that they, that they call. So next one is Piotr. The polar bear so i started i think i have two legs done so maybe next episode a whole one yes it's like how much time did it took you to do well, the cat it took yeah. me a long time because i did other stuff uh, yeah okay but i did one leg in the flight i think like mm. like an hour from montreal to new york i think i did like a full leg and maybe more like it doesn't take very long so i could probably do that anyway we have a big bag of yes that you could actually yes fill. i can yeah <laughs> stuff I, I can stuff a lot of things so that's it. That was it for crochet and dyeing. Yeah. Let's uh, talk knitting. Knitting wise, I finished <laughs> one, only one thing. I finished my brand new moon bumps wrap. Um, the moon along. So the knit along for the this wrap has come to an end. Thank you for everyone who joined or cast it on. You can actually go see on the project page of the pattern on Ravelry see what everyone has made if you need inspiration for your own colors or what you could do uh the winners has been drawn and i've notified the three of them and a gift card has been sent to them to the winners so thank you spin cycle yarn moon drake and, Mel and Le Garçon. Garçon. so thank us you us for providing gift cards to the winners um it was really fun to see honestly all the project so this is my new one it is such an addictive knit this is why I made a second one with like similar colors, but with more of a contrastic yarn. I've blocked it. I've made my little tassels. tassels. Go here it is. So it's a wrap with eye cords, bind off, 
and then with your little yarn tail you weave it on the front to create a little detail and that's the second one and i love making my tassel just yeah different a wee bit different <laughs> a, wee a wee bit, bit. Um, the other time I blocked the shawl with the tassel of spin cycled and they've all um, loosened up at the end. It was nice, but it looked more uh, worn. Yeah. And this time I blocked the shawl without the tassel. So the tassel aren't blocked, the shawl is, and they remain more of a clean finish. So the more I wear it, the more used they're going to be at the end, but until... Yeah, well, that's... It's what just, happens. Yeah. And here what it looks like once it's worn. Just try to... I have plans to make another one. Just, I think this, instead of like having socks on the go, I might have just like... A moon bump. Yeah. A moon bump. A moon bump on the go. Quite quickly. And... The, the whole weekend when I was talking about this pattern with um, makers at Pick Up Every Stitch, we've all agreed that a color change in yarn, like spin cycle or your hand spun, anything like that, the color changing gets you so excited to see the change, even though if it's the same thing you knit all the time, the fact that the color is changing, you're just like, oh, just one, I'll do one more bump, I'll, I'll do one more bump, and then you get things done. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Yeah. Here it is. I'm quite, I'm really pleased with this one. That's it for my knitting. It was, yeah. I didn't well, have a lot, but a lot of it left to do, but I've made it. And last episode, I said that I had two goals finish the cat, which I've done, except for the eyes and nose. And then finish my Vaheldus, I think. I asked I asked Alex, I messaged her just before the episode. I said, Can you pronounce Vaheldus for me? And I think it's Vaheldus. Um I could listen to it, but um So it's the second pair. I've shown you these ones last time. These are the, or a couple episodes ago, maybe, the Habemic socks by Alex. My second, uh, my first pair of socks from her that I knit. But then I got to test another pattern that is now out. It's the Vaheldus socks. So they're socks with a little Rosemine. Sorry. Sorry. Rosamina? Rosamina. Um, Which is her motif. signature. Yes. Well, it's an Estonian technique. Um, so it's basically floats in front of the knitting. And yeah. So very easy to do. It's a, my favorite kind of socks. Top down. The only kind of socks to do. Um, and then you do the pattern kind of as long as you want. And then knit a heel, flap heel, gusset. Yeah, very simple. You did the same color as hers. I did the same colors as hers. She didn't do it. Uh, she didn't design it with our yarn, but I picked similar colors because... It just um, looks nice, the burgundy it look, yeah. and the red together. And really, Emma Stone is my favorite sock color, mm. I think. The, yeah, well, the yeah. other one, too. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I wanted to show them. Um, it's my favorite sock color. And then it's the all, like it's a color similar to what she used. So I said, why not use the same colors? So I used that. I used Lyra's, well, Hema Stone for the main color, and then the Rosemina floats are Lyra's hat, and then Nick's current obsession. Yeah, that's it. Like, very simple. But with little interest. Yeah, with little interesting thing. In the leg. 
I knit them in about two weeks, like one week. You made each. them quickly. Yes. Well, well it was when... a test knit, so yeah. Well, I had to finish in time. Yeah. I finished the day of. Yeah, I finished the day of. I finished like right that day. I had like I think this much of the foot. I had. I was there on the last day. Anyway, then all I did, the like... comments or you knew from the yes yes yeah it was yeah yeah yeah. i had um given some comments already um and i use almost because i have big feet i use almost all of my main color Mm. and then it takes very little of the contrasting colors yeah minis would work nice there might there might be some kits coming soon maybe we're gonna talk about maybe we're gonna talk about it um later yep. in the episode are we yes oh i didn't know yes yeah i'm surprised too <laughs> um, planning planning something i don't always do um so yeah very nice socks i am probably gonna wear them i'm gonna keep them for a little while to make as a shop sample yeah. as a shop let's sample. make sure we have nice pictures of them and yes. then you can wear them uh but they are at least I'm gonna, probably going to reuse the recipe for well, like yeah. it's a very like it's a vanilla type sock, but they fit like super well. So awesome! I might make another pair with one of the kits that we might or might not talk about. Cool. <laughs> cool. And now to whips. Whips. No. So original. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that joke before. I've um, never heard that joke. So. I've cast on a brand new project. This is what I've mostly been working on for the past couple of days. Yeah, past couple of days, not weeks, days. Um, this is the Travel Mode 2.0 by Sosu Nitz, which is Susan Summer. Um... It's a modular wrap shawl kind of project. I'm almost halfway through it because it's going quite quickly. Ooh, so pretty. Yes, I love the colors. Um, I'm using our British four ply, which is a fingering yarn. I'll show you the colors before and then I'll talk about the design. So I'm using natural. Can you hold it? Yes. Pepper's Mint. Yes. Max Khaki. Yes. Which is attached to the project. Oh. Shovel Skull Grey. Yes. So there's five of them. <laughs> okay, I don't have. And Jason's Ellie. Aqua? No. no. Ellie's Childhood? No. No, Jason's Aqua. Jason's no. Aqua. I've been obsessed for a long time to mix. <laughs> Okay, hold yeah. this one. Oh, nope. it, it's gone. Okay. I've been obsessed with mixing olive green with a minty green. They sort of don't go together, but they go together. So I really wanted, <laughs> I really wanted to play around with that. And I felt that this shawl that requires five different colors was a nice <laughs> add-on. Um, this is a modular knitting, so it's pretty much... Uh, the same concept as the Vertices Unite by Westnet. I know a lot of people made it. Did I've made it. The, You've made it. Put the thing on top. No, I don't. What top? Okay. Uh, <gasps> so the fir- you start up by doing the little great triangle. And then you add every stripe afterward. So the first stripe you do is the dark blue. Then you do the olive green. Then you do the mint, then it's the gray. After that, you go back to green, and so on and so on. And the little, uh, little tiny gray stripe is in the stuck pattern. in it. Yeah, the little gray yeah. stripe in the middle is in stuck in it stitch. Because so, yeah. around all of that, there's gonna be a lo- a big border that I'm gonna pick out, pick up everywhere. Once I'm, I'm trying to show it then, <laughs> once I'm at the middle here, this section is going to be like a triangle in the middle, so it's going to be flat, and then a mirror effect on the other side. 
it's really fun the way she wrote the pattern there's a drawing for every stripe so you know which yeah. one you're at it is such a smart uh pattern the way she designed it and it it's so easy to do it's garter stitch it's fun i think it's a nice um it's gonna go over everything yeah and the fact that it's fingering i'm gonna be able to just like squish it and put it around we'll see i cannot wait to just and it's wear it and the yarn like the yarn that you picked well i like it's our yarn so we're gonna we know what yeah like we're gonna talk nicely about it but it's still like it, it's very nice and it blocked like super fun because you steamed it right? yeah i didn't block this i just steamed it yeah and it just hold its shape perfectly yeah and, and it's it just... like flowy mm. yeah it's very very nice um we're gonna make kits obviously if are we gonna want... make kits before i finish it or should we wait until i it? it won't be this week but we'll see when you finish it yeah maybe next week we'll have next episode we'll have kits if you have finished it then perfect if not people otherwise <laughs> most of the colors are available in the show yeah right i think now. so so, so actually uh plan from ahead. center out because i won't say left to right or right to left because i'm all looking at your screen it's left to right yes uh it's cheryl cole natural jason aqua max's khaki and then pepper's mint in british for ply yeah and her original colors are like two shades of grays uh a pink an orange and a little yellow and they yeah. all go together so i wanted to do something similar but yeah. in but we're gonna we're shades. gonna do like a, a similar kit as well as hers yeah, of course. Hers. yeah. yeah. gonna be fun here it is yes and i'm just gonna show it quickly because i have made progress on it but not very much like it's not going to be very noticeable and i'm going to start doing like ray does and put a stitch marker after the episode to show a little bit so it's my montrealer sweater in our british dk right now it doesn't look like much i knitted i don't know like maybe an inch more like it's not it's not very noticeable but that being said this time around i brought my swatch because yes i swatch yes yes um so i just wanted to show you the stripes that i was planning to make i so the this colorway is heli's childhood home and this is natural and i wanted to make most of the stripes natural and then the accent stripe i had chosen remy's peach but you might go i might go another yeah. direction which is this one uh it was not actually this one but um i picked the wrong here but um maybe i'll go grab the other one that i really wanted so there's more yarn this way? Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so I wanted... Um, I might go with Meredith's Grey for the majority of the stripes. And then the accent stripe uh, will be Jill's Dusty Rose. And I've used um, this one. When it's surrounded by color, it's bring out the pink out of it even more. Yeah. So you can have that kind of effect to it too. But just a wee, a so wee bit let me know darker. What do you think? I quite like this one too, though. Natural and peach, or Meredith and Dusty Rose. You might have so, to swatch too. I might have to swatch. Yeah, just but... compare. Um, when I'm at the stripes, I'll make a yeah. decision or, yeah, there you go. Because I don't want 
like to this one we had leftovers right we had leftover yeah, this, this one too oh and yeah but it's four ply right yeah for what but that's ck anyway i'll double it oh yeah just to test i don't i don't actually need the yeah um yeah so decisions decisions those are the holly brand i'll try and be more maybe i'll have a stripe next time i'm give, like giving myself these little challenges i don't give keeps, myself any challenge at all i just keeps me accountable flow. right no no i i'm not getting too serious but yeah, yeah. i have so many whips that i need to focus on at all least one <laughs> at least to focus I, I need to focus on one thing at yeah. least so i get it done that's it that was it for the materialer and i have only one more whip um, you've seen this one before. Um, I've put it on old for quite some time, only because I was so into the bumpy cardigan that I just wanted to like have it done. And because it was my first cardigan design, I've never I, made one before. And I just was so excited to have it done and be able to wear it. This is a sweater that highlights the color Lorian Sage Advice, which is a brand new color we launched earlier this oh, spring oh there's a dog there's a dog but <laughs> we just walked by someone woke up um so this is she's like over there yeah <laughs> like hello um i'm it, it if we were gonna record like two to three days from now it would have even tomorrow it would have been a <laughs> sorry she's walking around <laughs> Come, come, come. Stretch. Big stretch. Stretch. Come on. Um, like, it's almost done. I brought this with me to New York, and I didn't have any tapestry needles, so I've put them on little, like, barber cords, and I left something to bind off, because I'm going to do the <laughs> no, tubular bind off. <laughs> I like your face. <laughs> And yesterday, I started the ribbing. So, like I said, it's almost done. But is it? No. No, I know. It's a whip. It's a whip. <laughs> um, it's a colorwork sweater. It's inspired by um, static interference. Those things you see on the TV. Well, those things you were seeing back in... Yes. We don't... When we were young. Yeah, when we were young. Like, do kids, <laughs> they don't see that. Um, no, because there's not... Is there snow on TV? It's not even... Uh, they do, do they watch TV? They don't. That's true. <laughs> um, they watch a computer screen and tablets. So, but in, back, back, back in the, in the days... days. Uh, so it was inspired <laughs> by that. I wanted like something really bold and graphic. Uh, black and white with a little pastel sweater. Well, for the rest, there's a big yoke here. And then after you separated for a sleeve, you have a little color work there that goes on the shoulder too. And by the cuff, we have yep. just a little bit of color work, easy two colors, same thing for the bottom. And this is a nice and stretchy tubular bind off and tubular cast oh, on. Look at you being fancy. I know, it just feels like great as little finishes to it. Oh uh, yeah. Um, this is our British, no, this is our BFL Twist DK base, which is 100% Superwash BFL. Yes. Yes, look at me knowing all the recipes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is Lorian Sage Advice. The white is Betty's White, and the black is Moira, Moira's Black Rose. Yes. So by the next episode, if everything goes well, I'll be able to wear it, because it's going to be all done. And I mean, okay. I've already tried it on and it fits quite well. Like I said, just need to finish these little the sleeves. Uh, yep. Cuff. Yeah. So just after this, I think I'm going to mine it off, block it tomorrow morning and then, and then have it graded. Hello. No, <laughs> yes. I think we're frozen. <laughs> Okay, you have to go on other daddy. Boop. 
and again like very like i that's only what i'm showing right all these start of projects this sucks well, you, i had you've shown the plan I know, but this one, no, this one, I had the swatch for this one, and I showed the plan, but then next, uh, last episode, I showed the beginning of the socks, but there only had, like, this much left, the, the this much done, mm. um, and again, I have barely anything done. Well. Um, it's a color. <laughs> ribbing is what usually we were a fan of, so you did the no, hard part. Like, that, that was so fun to make. I like it now, but remember yeah. when we started, we were like, ugh, ribbing, is that two inch? And it never <laughs> was. Uh, so this is the little grain pattern. So this is the adult grain pattern, um, making a kid's version of that sweater. Uh, it starts with corrugated ribbing at the top, and then it has a little um, grain wheat pattern so i just started basically i started the chart uh, about like three rounds in nothing much but then i have this little corrugated ribbing i'm using max's khaki for the main color and then the color work is in Lyra twilight's sand so it's really nice. And I should be finished mass next episode. Because uh, it's also a test. And the deadline is in a little less than three weeks. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, sleeve stakes. Like well, it's nothing. a kid sweater. Like yeah, it's a sleeve stakes, like, no time at all. It's a two-year-old yeah. sweater. So it's not going to be... Uh, it's gonna take not gonna take very long. I was afraid, but I think it's stretchy enough. I was afraid of the of the cast on because babies have big heads. It doesn't look like it, but they have like disproportionate <laughs> head heads um, for the rest of the body. Mm. But like my my head, well his head, my head is unusually large. His head is about 21 inches, I think, like the circumference. I've got a tiny head. You, yes, like like your waist. Um, I wear a lady's petite. And, and then I looked at a baby's average head size for a two-year-old, and it's 18 inches. So it's like only three inches less than you. But then the baby is going to be, like, much anyway, smaller than a two-year-old. Baby sizes with, like, yeah. weeks and those are... Well, two-year-old, it's two-year-old, right? It's no, not, it's not. It's Yes, no. two-year-old is two-year-old. It's another language of sizes. Yes, well, two-year-old, yeah, they, the they wear, they wear two-year-old at, like, 18 months. That's weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's going to fit when it's going to fit. And then um, that's it. It's for my baby nephew. Yes. Xavier. 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 <laughs> and yeah, so I cannot wait to finish it because it's I'm getting in the color work part and that's fun. Right? That's yes, I, that's what I love the most. Yes. So that was it for all the whips. All the whips. Well, all the whips I've made progress on because I have Oh progress. yeah, you have <laughs> You have a bags full of them. Oops. Goodbye. You have that <laughs> tendency of leaving in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> Bye. <Yeah>, Bye. <laughs>
uh, as when Max is talking endlessly about his endlessly. Yes. You have the endless whips. I don't. Don't don't put it on me. <laughs> so that's it. Um, just, I'm I'm here. I'm, okay. I'm gonna stay s sat down. Now. Good. Um, in the shop, we've added new enamel pens because I've realized I've been designing most of it for all the clubs, but I've sort of forgot to add some to the shop as our original pens. Yes. Um, I'm going to show it here. We're far from the camera, so most yeah, of them aren't going to show up completely. And there's a lot of lights. Yeah. So you're going to be able to see them with nice pictures on the website if you want to go look out for it. But the first one I've made is this one. This is a crow wearing the bolt sweater. The bolt sweater. So this is the, you well, woke up why, to hide it. <laughs> that's why you made you wore that today. Yes, but it's also cold <laughs> today. And this is my, oh my God, cold most favorite sweater that I've made. This is the okay. most me out yeah, of all. But you've yeah okay yeah. Quick, it's nice. It looks nice. Huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, so this is David uh, wearing the bolt sweater. It's a black and white crow because it was inspired by the character David Rose from Schitt's Creek, which I will endlessly talk about because this is such a great show. So there's the animal pen and the progress keeper. There's also one called Julia the Chihuahua. And Julia is wearing the Yes to Years sweater that I've designed for the book Worsted. By La Bien Aimée. Oh, we see, we see them here. Can you? Yeah. I'll I'll show them over here. Oh, but the camera is not gonna. Focus. Oh, but we're okay. Good. We're gonna show it and then. Uh, the name Julia comes because she's a member of La Bien Aimée's team, and she's the one that I've spoke the most about. The book. She's doing yarn relation she's super nice she's a francophone bilingual all those things and i really like her and i cannot wait to meet her one day in paris so this yes. is why it was named julia well you've met her then oh, in, real life. in paris no we've met her no Maybe. no we haven't i think we did no we did. no i would have known so, the, the one that was next did. to us it wasn't her no we haven't next one is Nutty? Is it not? Yeah, Nutty. Nutty the squirrel. Uh, she's wearing the Chivanopolis shawl that I've designed in um, spin cycle yarn. So it's chevron of a shawl. And I've made the little squirrel wearing a flower crown. And the last one is Frosty the cupcake. It's not the snowman. Sorry. Last one is Frosty the Cupcake. He's wearing the Funfetti shawl that I've also designed in La Bien Aimée, and it's a cupcake because Funfettis uh, yeah. are a cupcake <laughs> and cakes. <laughs> well, big <laughs> and small cakes. Funfetti are fun and cakes. Are fun and cakes. <laughs> and itty. Yeah, so all of those are in uh, the shop. I'm not going to try and hold them on at the same time. No. Go, honestly, go to the shop. I'm really happy with the illustration I've made for all of them. Go to the website. You're going to see them better there. Um, and then that's it for what's new in the shop. But what's going to be, well, what's going to be in the shop when this episode airs? is kits for surprise the Vaheldus socks um i for the first time i'm dying my knees to put in the shop to sell kits or by itself well we're gonna have oh, the... this is what it's at the yes on the counter at the yes. first floor oh and that's what I died. Right. That's what I died today as well. More other colors. Nice. Um, so we're gonna have. I'm gonna find a way to make the mini, like to sell the minis on their own, but we're also gonna make kits with them. So um, I bought. I brought two kits that I'm gonna make, but I. I think I have eight different ones, because they're fun. And 
That's also why I showed these ones, because they could also be used to make the habemic socks. Mm. Or you um, could have enough to just make a vanilla sock with a uh, different cuff heels and toes with yes, the minis. Yes, yeah. they can be used to do anything if you want. Um, so it's going to be one skein, well, for this particular one, it's going to be one skein of Emma Stone and then two minis, Nick's Current Obsession and Lyra's Hat. So there's that. There's going to be this kit. And then there's going to be another one that's inspired by the Habemix picture. In, jump, yeah. Yeah. In the 52 weeks. That one is so cool. So it's going to be Louis Shade. So a navy blue. And Pepper's Mint. And Vanilla's Ice Blue. Blue. Yeah. Ice, ice, ice blue, blue. Uh, and then yeah, I have a like I have a list of when I was actually trying to find the colors that I wanted to choose my my option. Um, I had put like a bunch of different color co combinations, and it's basically what I'm gonna we're gonna put in the in the shop. And then yeah, you could buy those kits to make just a vanilla vanilla sucks and then use the minis for other stuff as well so but do try all expert yes sucks that pattern and we're gonna we're gonna link it that pattern is the vaheldus is a standalone pattern so it's not in a book it's available now on ravelry on her website and then the habemic one is in the second volume of 52 weeks because one of her most popular pattern and for a good reason is the selly sweater it is an amazing fingering white sweater with a similar kind of details all around yes. the, the, the all arm. The, all the, on the shoulder and down the arm. But yeah. I understand that this could be a more challenging knit if you want to try Rosamina for the first time. So oh, yeah. the mitts or the socks could be like a great way to try the yeah, technique the, first and then do the I sweater. I made the, like, the little mitts ages, sister, ages yeah. ago. Yeah, the fingerless mitt. Hilia, Hilia, I think, mitts. Mm. Um, she had a knit along when you made them. Yeah, so there you go. So options that uh, there's going to be minis. The the minis on their own might not be available. Uh, might not have time to do it, but uh, the kits are going to be there. And one last thing that we're bringing bringing back is the mystery bundles. We're gonna have a bunch of we we have a bunch of yolos like one of a kind skeins and instead of I decided because I'm lazy a little bit that instead of uh, taking pictures uh, and listing them on the website on their own I'm just gonna put them with other skeins of ours uh, have a little surprise as well. So we're creating mostly like shawl set. Yeah. Um, you could like we are the one picking the colors that go together. So you're gonna make, you're gonna be sure to have something nice that could work into any type of shawl that you like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Most um, well, you know. It, you use them as you want. There's gonna be three skeins options and then five skeins options. Uh, they will have probably like a mini skein sometimes in it, uh, one or two, like we'll see it. They, they're not going to be like the ones that we put that we have like bigger gifts, like tote bags and everything. Uh, but it's still going to be like very cool things. And I'm going to make, I think, fingering and DK versions and not mix them. Like there's going to be only fingering or only DK. Um, yeah, so... We'll bring that back. It's fun yarn. It's at a discount. You can have, like this one, was a test for the octopus. So it's a YOLO skein. It's a one of a kind. And it was one of the first uh, octopus color like test that we did. So it's a very nice color still. But yeah, there you go. So, so that was it. That was it. That was it. It 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 was it. No, it doesn't make any sense. Was no. it? Was it? Um, so we're gonna see each other in two weeks. We have yes. nothing planned for the next two weeks, so we're gonna be able to record as usual.
Did we? Yes. Yes. We don't have anything. <laughs> it's the first time. Yay. Yay. So have a good weekend. Hope and... you had a good cocktail if you've watched it with yes. us with a cocktail. Oh, you, like mine you've is, had, yeah, I know. you've had fun. I've, <laughs> well, I hope you had too. <laughs> Uh, and we're going to see each other pretty soon. Yes. Yes. Bye. Bye. Can I get up now? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs>